Welcome to today's Guitar Boss podcast. Today we're going to talk about short form content. So you've probably seen YouTube Shorts, uh, Instagram Reels, um, TikTok, TikTok, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Facebook. I mean, Facebook have stories. They do have videos uh, section as well, which you can upload to. So there's just like a million places you can put short form content. And um, I've been playing around with it a little bit. The most I've ever got on one short form content is 1.2K. And that was, I was trying to basically just play the fastest thing that I could on electric guitar with one hand. And that seemed to get a lot of reach. And then I think the, the name of the game for it really is just like to be consistent every single day, you're going to be posting a little bit and you get a lot of views from it. Now to get monetized, you need to get 10 million views okay <laughs> i know that all right which is insane it seems like a lot um or 10 million something uh and you need but you still have to have four thousand hours of watch time or 10 million shorts views so i think the new thing is if you do and what i found is that if you post something new they'll then watch your old older shorts so then you, you start getting like extra views every time you get new views in. But the key is just to keep trying and testing every single day to your one minute thing. Um, some great ideas that you can do if you don't want to do your own stuff is you could do reactions. You could take someone else's video and react to it. You've probably seen that quite a lot. Um, yeah. And then once you've done it once, you can post it across all the channels. One thing I would say is like try and have your face or a face uh, quite a bit in the video because they don't always love just seeing like nothing, if that makes sense. They like faces, these things, these algorithms. They pick up on smiles. Um, they like smiley, happy things because the more <laughs> I don't, I think YouTube doesn't matter as much, um, but definitely on Facebook, I. I'm pretty sure uh, from the research I've done, they have AI in the background, which picks up how many, you know, they'll analyze your face and they'll see what emotions are coming across. And if they deem it to be happy emotions, it's more likely to get some reach. I don't know if that's a million percent true, but those are my, uh, you know, ideas. You probably find like big events, really happy events, babies, weddings, all that kind of stuff. Any like big life event will get a lot of traction um, more than just posting up your dinner for the day. Um, so anyway, have you had any experience with it, Josh? Short form content doing the one minute videos? Very little. Uh, so I, I got my Instagram pulled up here and I've got, if you go to like my little Instagram, Josh Gillis, I've got a bunch of little shorts that I did, <clears throat> but nice. um, the very first one I did, I had 176 views. The nice. next one had 57 <laughs> nice. and then it had, the next one had 93. Then it went to 198. Then after 198, it went to like 6,000. I had 6.2 and then it went down to 48. And then the next one had what 1700 then 4000 2000 4000 1000 700 400 and then one blew up i had 10 10000 um mm. promoting a summer camp and it was just my buddy braden playing uh shine on his uh, electric and uh uh yeah so anyway i i figured i could give a, a little example here in a minute we don't have to do right this minute but uh kind of what something easy you could do anyway. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and do it because I'm still talking about it. <laughs> so I think the, the point there though, is that um, you kept testing different things. And once you find something that works, you have to try and recreate that and try and see if you if that gets the views. And if not, then you, you got to keep trying. But I think you got to pick an angle. So if you want that, if you want if the end product is that you want people to learn guitar through you. So if, you, if you're selling a course, if you're doing online classes or whatever the, the end point is, if you want them to donate to your Patreon, um, then that's the thing, that's the theme that you've got to have roughly, you know, along, along the line. 
if you just want to earn YouTube ad revenue and you just want to get views, then you can do, there's a million things you can do. But if you're trying to get students, then it'd be good just to teach something every single day. Or you can do a mixture of like performing a piece and teaching. But if you just want, say like you're a studio guitarist, um, you want to be you know, showing off your skills all the time and then having a link somewhere on your YouTube channel towards you know, you getting booked. It's, it's got to have one clear congruent message. If you're doing one random thing here and one random thing there, then you're not going to build the right audience. But if you're constantly teaching every single day for one minute, this is how you do an augmented chord. This is how you do a C chord or, or whatever it is. Um, this is what inversions are. Then people are going to be like, oh, what's this guy about? Or girl, let's go to their profile, which is the YouTube channel main page what what's in the banner what's in their picture what links do they have you've got to be thinking about how people are going to flow into whatever you want them to flow into um if it's just views then great then just keep trying to get those views <laughs> yeah whatever, whatever pops off like for me um i got the 1.2k thing here and i was just whittling I don't know if you'll be able to see here. It loads up. I was just doing that. And that that seemed to get um that seemed to get some traction. So I need to do more of that really. I tried some other stuff um, and I got a mixture of 190 views, 69 views. So still like getting a little bit of love there, but um, again, it's consistency. Anyway, what were some of your ideas there, Josh? That's it, man. Yeah, I um, great tips. I um, so for me, the way I decided to do my shorts, I, I was very targeted in that I, I'm I teach beginners how to play guitar. If I could sum up what I do in one sentence, that's it. Um, and so everything that I do is going to target beginners. And so I was thinking in my mind, what are just some quick tips or something I could give a, a brand new beginner to encourage them to walk over there in the corner and grab their guitar that's got dust on it, knock off the dust, pick it up and try something, you know? Yeah. And then if I provide enough value and some fun stuff like that, we're like, man, that was kind of fun. I wonder if he takes, I wonder if he teaches lessons. Why? Well, yes, I do. You know? So <laughs> I was able to get one or two, uh, leads from that. <clears throat> just, I didn't, I haven't done that many of them yet maybe a dozen or so, but I did get one trial lesson out of that, doing that kind of stuff, uh, which is kind of cool. But well, if you, uh, look at this, if you look at the stats there, 12 videos, so it probably took you, let's just say an hour to do all of that. Yeah. For an hour's work, you got two leads and one trial, you know, right. if you times that by 10, you know. Right. That's true. That's a good way to put, look at it. Um, so I figured I could just maybe give an example um, of something I would do um, for a beginner guitarist. So uh, if we were going to time this, it, you know, I can't remember what, what it is for Instagram versus YouTube shorts, but they all need to be pretty much under a minute, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I would actually add in <clears throat> YouTube picks up on watch time and completed time. So you can do the one minute, but you have to hold someone's attention for that whole minute. But if you just did, um, I don't know, five, 10 seconds or 15 seconds, it might be easier to hold their attention. <clears throat> YouTube would then pick up that the whole video has been watched. And then, you know, in the early days, number one, it'd be easier to make 15 seconds. Just do a quick tip. This is how you do this to this, boom. And then it's, then people watch the whole thing. Um, yeah, I'd, yeah, again, you have to test it out. Test is the name of the game, man. All right. So if I, if I were going to time myself real quick, I might, I might ask you actually, could you like, yeah, pull yeah. Out your phone and give me a minute timer and kind of show it on the screen as I go and I'll try to knock it out in under a minute and I'll show you what I was doing that was starting to work, um, to get up from, you know, 57 views up to several thousand. There we go. All right. Ready? Yep. Let me explain real quick what I'm going to do first. And then I'll, then I'll try to knock it out <laughs> something first that catches their eye. And so I may do like a little diddle or something. 
then I'll stop and I'll be like, hey, this is Josh. Here's a quick tip. Go into what the quick tip is, I'll break it down, and then I'll do it one or two times at the very end to show how it all ties together. That that was my kind of mini formula for, for doing it or whatever. So, all right, whenever you're ready, man. So the, the hook, the story, and the offer. <laughs> the offer, that's it, man, that's it. Gotta keep it simple. <laughs> all right, brilliant. I'm looking forward to this. So anyone who's on the podcast listening, um, hopefully you can just use your imagination <laughs> to what this looks like. Yeah, it may you sound can like go over that. to YouTube and, and check it out. All right, you ready? Ready. Three, two, one. Josh with another quick tip. All right, today's quick tip is going to be transitions between one chord and the other. A while back, I heard a really cool diddle this guy did. He was just going from D to G, but what he did was he did this cool little filler on the two and the four fret. So he'd start it on this G string and go like four, two, O. Oh. Next string, 4-2-0, 4-2-0, -0, and then hit the next chord. So if you just work on that, and go backwards. And just keep doing that drill over and over, eventually you get quick at it, and it sounds like this. That's it. <laughs> so... That was uh that was the quick tip and you know got a little er earlier than that earlier than a minute but it was not clean it was not perfect but it just doesn't matter i mean you're just trying to offer value and i i may have done that one or two times to make sure i get my message across clearly but that was just kind of an, an example i guess so do yeah. something easy something kind of fun um and just something that could they, they could work on you know and you know want a little more so anyway there's my example of a, a short that i would use and heck i may use this one here in a minute when we get done so <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's, that's brilliant and um yeah just anything that's they, someone was talking about the chocolate and the broccoli so <laughs> obviously uh everyone wants you know for kids, they want to eat chocolate, but really what's good for you is to eat some broccoli or the same with adults. So if you draw them in with something that looks really, really cool, um, then it can just spark an idea and give them some inspiration to get them back into the guitar world, especially if they're staring at their guitar in the corner of the room and it just sits there or they got it for Christmas and they never use it. Um, but really the name of the game, the broccoli is that they need to practice every day and that's how you can come in and help them progress and and uh, do that stuff. So that's it. give them a bit of chocolate on the, the Instagram reels or the YouTube shorts. And, and the main thing is once you've done it for one platform, do it across all of them. YouTube shorts might not get much reach, but suddenly your reels do or, you know, whatever, your TikTokies. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, great tips. Thanks for that example, Josh. Uh, if you go on the YouTube channel, you'll be able to see the full video. Um, yeah. And with all these platforms, you can do reactions. You can either download the, the video and then have yourself talk over it. Or you, I think in TikTok, you can green screen yourself. You might need to Google out to do that. I'm, I won't be able to explain it right now, but you green screen yourself, you put yourself in the corner, you explain what they're doing. And then it's just, you react um to them so you could find a viral video that's had millions of views so you know it's going to pop off um you take that you then put your own spin on it um maybe just cut the audio so it doesn't get copyrighted or speed it up or slow it down and then just talk over it so that's a, that's another quick way of of getting a win um if you had to be completely legal you probably want to ask for permission but I think with a lot of these channels, it's, they have an option to react to a video or you can have yourself side by side of, I mean, I watched some videos, <laughs> it's got like thousands and thousands of views and likes, and it's just someone watching a video. That's really, really cool. Yeah, so it's like it. this um, guy in Asia and he's just playing the most incredible thing I've ever seen. He's obviously just a master and he's, super young so it must be early 20s and the original video got millions upon millions upon millions of views 
and this kind of it wasn't really a reaction it was just someone staring <laughs> at the video side by side like we are now so you're the amazing player at this side and i'm just sitting here watching and that just got loads of views as well so uh, there's lots of ways to do it um, have some fun with it see what's working out there if you look on whatever app you're in just type in guitar lessons or guitar or, or whatever just find some keywords around your guitar niche see what's got millions of views analyze it why has it got millions of views is it because it's just absolutely incredible playing if it is and you can't match it and you can't do a cover of it you can do a reaction or you could just stare at it like some other people do and and uh yeah anyway have some fun with it well that's the end of today's podcast and we'll see you in the next one take care adios Bye.